Today we are going to do the chapter Reaching Grandmother's House After a long train journey we reached Kutayam in the night You can see here in this picture We were going to Waliamma's house Waliamma's house was not far from the station and we had to take two auto rickshaws to get there by then i was very sleepy and did not even wait to eat anything i took a bath and slept i thought I had just fallen asleep when amma woke me up again Then we got ready took our luggage and went to the bus stand Wali amma's family also came with us We were 10 people We reached the bus stand the bus conductor came and appa bought tickets for all of us we managed to get seats as it went along the bus got very crowded people were sharing the seats we also had to share our seats after a long ride the bus reached the last stop i was happy to get off my legs were stiff i could hardly stand i thought that we had finally reached amamma's village but no our travel had not ended yet the bus had dropped us by the water side look amma pointed across the water that is where we have to go but how will we get there i wondered just then i saw a boat coming amma said this is the ferry immediately a big crowd of people started getting off school children men women with all their own packets and luggage amma explained that the ferry was used by people to cross the water and reach the other side as soon as the ferry got empty the big rush started from our side everyone had to pay the fare before getting on very soon the ferry was full it started off again i managed to get a place to stand along the railing I saw the rippling of the still water as the ferry moved. It was moving smoothly on the water. There were rows of coconut trees 
on the banks of the river. As we moved swiftly, I could see people fishing, washing, bathing, and walking along the banks. Just before the sun disappeared into the water, the ferry reached the island and stopped. It was time for us to get off. At last we reached Amamma's place. What a long and interesting journey it has been.